It is May the 20th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec Site in the St. Simon Sound. And it was a great day today, great day for fishing. If you were fishing for debris, uh, we caught this piece today, uh, just a, a wonderful whopper of a late model uh, vehicle, uh, rear bumper covered in what appeared to be heavy fuel oil. Uh, had to back the boat down on this one to get this one in the boat. Uh, fishing with a, uh, a deck broom, um, we found that ta the tackle we used was, was quite appropriate. Um, put up a good fight, but we got it in the boat. Now, in addition to this guy, we, we saw some smaller pieces that were out there, uh, but we just really we couldn't get to those. It was uh, water was just a little too rough for us to get get a get to it. But uh, yeah, there's there's quite a bit of debris out on uh, out on the site. And other great news today, and this is some debris that was submitted to us uh, today by the Altamaha Riverkeeper Sue Inman. Uh, she was out collecting up. Uh, debris from the beach today and uh, some of what she found. The South Gate environmental barrier was closed. I know, baby steps. We're, we're moving in the right direction here. Uh, the North Gate was still open, but the South Gate has been closed, and that is better than, than what we've seen. Um, and at least a, a bit of... Uh, I guess the best news that we can get is they're trying to get, get everything rounded up inside the barrier. Now we got some better shots from the hull side today and uh, part of what we could see in there, um, you could you could see the the structure pieces in there. That, this has been inside the ship uh, and I guess somehow it has etched uh, the paint where those uh, support systems are inside the ship and you can see that grid pattern uh, just really, it's really distinctive across uh, those burn spots, and there was so much heat was generated from the fire on Friday, and um, you can really see the uh, the damage to the uh, the paint, and uh, some of the scoring that took place uh, as a result of that fire. I think we're going to stop calling this a salvage operation and uh, just start calling it a uh, hazard to navigation removal process. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the ship now worth salvaging unless you uh, think about the, uh, the stones that they placed underneath the ship uh, in an effort to stop it from rolling over onto that port side more. Uh, the rest of it just really looks like it is just in really bad shape now. Now we can see on the ship that uh, they've done some more cutting. It looks like they've uh, enlarged um, one of the access areas. Um, maybe this is uh, a firefighting prevention method here uh, to be able to uh, get a master stream of water. We could see uh, the aerial personnel basket on the crane being lifted, but uh, that was very noticeable, that, that large a uh, piece of the hull that's been cut away. And uh, one thing we can think of is that that is you know, in the event that this this uh, fire incident is repeated, uh, they have better access into the 
those areas of the ship that uh, they may have had trouble uh, with uh, early on trying to get water onto the fire. So uh, I suppose that is a, a good thing to see, and it's good to see that we, we, st we st still see the the 2008 barge is, is on site, um, and that is certainly good news to see. It is still out there, and just hopefully we don't have another repeat of what happened. Can't imagine that there's a lot of material left inside to burn, but uh, you know there's a lot of cars in there, uh, so certainly don't want to take any chances to have another uh, compounded uh, environmental disaster on top of what uh, what's been going on. I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking with us through this project. Um, you guys make the show for me. But I want to ask you, if you're watching it and you had not done it yet, click on that subscribe button for us. You know, we like getting getting comments. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.